I'm gonna tell you about my experience in Kolkata. I had never been to Kolkata before and I went there for two days and I know that two days is simply not enough to get to know a city like Kolkata so never mind this is just my first impressions on the city. It feels like a much slower city than Bombay but I do like all the statues that they have everywhere. I love all the flowers displays that they have everywhere. Kolkata just seems very grand and I think that reflects in the architecture and the structure of the city. So I am in Kolkata and I'm at the Victoria Memorial. <laughs> perfect weather for me because it's 18 degrees which is like British summer weather which I absolutely love and today I am wearing this beautiful dress that was given to me by Rinkesh's family which is just a wonderful example of amazing Indian hospitality and another example of that is on the aeroplane I met those two guys which I was jamming with jamming. I'm gonna say that very lightly because I can't sing at all. And they were so sweet and they bought me ice cream, gave me water, fed me a sandwich. Obviously this building was built by the British to commemorate Queen Victoria. One of the reasons I wanted to go to Kolkata was because there are so many British built buildings here because it was the epicenter of the East India Company. And because I'm British I guess I feel a bit of a connection there as well as feeling guilty because obviously we took away a lot of things from India and ruled them for far too long. I also want to say as well, it is so beautiful here. There are so many gorgeous gardens with so many beautiful flowers. Some of the flowers that I'd never even seen before in the UK. And it's very relaxing, very peaceful and very enjoyable to just walk around. But I am actually so hungry right now and I'm really thirsty. Let's go and find me a thumbs up because I really need one. Actually, the reason I'm so tired is because for ages I was walking around Kolkata trying to find some of the poorest people that I could find so I could give them some clothes that I just didn't want anymore. And as well as that, some sweets and chocolate. But I managed to find some people, so hopefully I've made some people's day. Muche, thumbs up, DJ. Ni? TripAdvisor, they have advised that I go to a restaurant called Peter Cat. Such a weird name, but never mind, let's see if the food's good. And look at this building. So there's these amazing buildings in Kolkata, and that one is actually used as a bank. Pane Kasame, Jalo, let's go. Suprebat, Kolkata se, kese ho, hai. So this is my second day in Kolkata. And it's actually my last day because tonight I'm going to be getting the sleeper train to Varanasi! And last night I went to Peter Cat, which was a restaurant um, which was quite pretentious actually. It was quite an expensive place, I didn't really realise that. And the fish was really good, I had the fish mark malai and it was delicious, but this morning my stomach did not like that fish. I spent way too long in the bathroom this morning. But it's fine. And today in Kolkata, I'm gonna be going to Newmarket because in Newmarket, there is a shop which sells amazing silver jewelry. So I'm very excited to go there. Although the people that are hosting me have told me that Newmarket is a little bit dangerous, so I should be careful of all my belongings. But also, I don't know if you noticed, but Mira Gala Krab hai. So, mujhe lagta hai ki Kolkata ek saaf shahar hai. I mean, I definitely think it's cleaner than Bombay. Yaha thoda kachara hai, but it's really not that bad. I still love Bombay more. I don't know why. I can't seem to connect with Kolkata enough. Maybe I need to spend more time here. Two days in Kolkata just simply isn't enough. Up me 
New Market Mehu. So under Ao. So I went to New Market, which is crazy. So New Market is actually inside a building and it goes underground and there's various floors and the map is so confusing. I can't tell you how confusing it is, it's ridiculous. It doesn't really indicate where everything is. It's not even a map, it's just like a list of everything with numbers. It was just very confusing. Lots and lots of people saying, Pashmina, Pashmina, Pashmina. It's like, no, I don't want a Pashmina. The only thing I wanted was to find this silver jewelry shop called Chamba Lama. Chamba Lama. I kept asking like different people, like, where is Chamba Lama? And they were saying, I don't know, this shop doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. And I'm like, it does exist! I want to find the silver jewelry shop! Eventually, I found it. And it was a lot smaller than I expected. Like, the way it, the things that were written about it, I expected it to be like an enormous shop full of silver jewelry, like a huge, like, Aladdin's cave. But anyway, the jewelry they had in there was very nice. I got some, like, really nice jumkies and I got a nice ring and I was very happy with that. I'm at Hora station and it is absolute chaos.